Hello, I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content at Telecom TV. And for this edition of our series on 5G monetization in partnership with Ericsson, we are looking at flexible service creation and innovation. Now, with flexibility more important than ever, how can we ensure that we are enabling ecosystem partners to drive value from the network? This demands new functionality across the BSS and in the platforms that underpin these systems. Now, joining me on the program today are Cheng Chunzi, who is Vice President of Strategy and Transformation at Singtel, and Seda Dolan, who is Head of BSS Sales, Sales and Readiness and Sales Support at Ericsson. Hello and good to see both of you. Thanks so much for taking part in our discussion today. Cheng Chunzi, let me start by asking you, how does Singtel's 5G go-to-market strategy impact your role and remit? Yeah, Singtel being the Southeast Asia largest telco and the market leader in Singapore, we, we are leading in every way we can. For example, we have developed the first 5G standalone network in Singapore, but it is not just about being first in the deployment of the 5G network, but also developing an ecosystem to facilitate 5G innovation to create new values that 5G capabilities present. And, and this value creation is no longer just formulating price plan and SIM cards bundles. It is also about a total solution-based approach that needs ideation and effort to explore. It translates to the following strategic opportunities or priorities for me and my team. First, we want to be ahead in the advanced 5G connectivity, hence the first to deploy 5G SA in Singapore. Next is to continue our transformation towards a digital telco. We want a new value creation beyond connectivity business, hence leveraging all available technologies and collaborating with all partners that we can find is important to build our ecosystem and use cases. So for example, we are learning new technologies like service orchestration, network slicing and AI. Uh, we are partnering the local academic institutions and we fund 5G innovation facilities in Singapore. We have our 5G MEC that can integrate to our 5G networks to form a powerful combination. And of course, above all, Building a team of engineers with IT skill sets and network domain knowledge is key and of highest priority. Now, you spoke of your 5G standalone network there. So which 5G SA related use cases are you most excited about from a monetization perspective for you know, today uh, and also the longer term? Well, it is well known that 5G use cases are enterprise led. So hence, the various industry verticals we have all heard about, for example, the transport and the healthcare sectors, they all have the potential to be monetized and do well. We will see these implementations with various degree of success in time to come. In Singapore, applying 5G and digitalization on our public services is a big opportunity. We have a very strong, we have very strong support from our government agencies to put Singapore at the forefront in the global race of smart cities. Uh, we are having 5G technical trials with them right now. And in Australia, Optus has launched its living network, a network that comes alive and we empower our customer to switch on and off a collection of network features in my Optus app. And it's all supercharged by Optus 5G network. And Chen Chun, when it comes to monetization, what are the new 5G challenges and how are you overcoming these? While we have identified the various industry verticals for digitalization, but I'm excited and upbeat about creating new values. And I strongly believe that 5G will be the global and key digital enabler for the digitalization of the various corporates and industries. The collaboration and partnership with these corporates to go through the ideation process is our approach. And it will not be a one-time effort, but a journey where use cases will be allowed to evolve over time. To overcome all this, building the 5G ecosystem and the software capabilities within Singtel are what we are doing instead of building a specific solution. 
Great. Well, let me bring Seto into the conversation now. Um, how are you helping your telco partners here? What What are the new 5G challenges associated with monetization and how are you helping them overcome these? As Tension Touch based, 5G is all about value creation and it will empower the service providers to extend and diversify the offerings beyond the connectivity services and create monetization opportunities, especially on the enterprise domain. However, it is distinguished by greater complexity and competitive challenges. We are working together with Singtel, with network and IT organizations to capture this market opportunity and proactively work on the simplification of the complexities. There is a need on technical, commercial and organizational advancement as Singtel is embarking on in parallel to the 5G network evolution. One of the key innovation 5G is offering is the network slicing that will empower the support for specific use cases to separate the data in logical networks with differentiated characteristics to enable the tailored monetization. 5G slices will be dynamically instantiated, scale on demand, and support a large number of devices through open interfaces. However, scalability alone is not enough. There is also a need of optimized information models and automation to maintain the cost effectiveness. In this new era, the pace of change is expected to accelerate even more. As we are collaborating with Singtel, the service providers need to be prepared, operating under the conditions of severe uncertainty, support agile service creation, dynamic orchestration of their services and their partner services, and support differentiated monetization models via configuration. Managing the relationship with the end customer, whether it's the consumer, enterprise, or with their partners in a digital way is key. Now, we're seeing that 5G demands platforms with tight interworking of, of BSS and OSS, and the network for flexible service creation in product catalog and on ordering through activation processes. So, Seda, what's your approach here? As I emphasized in the previous question, 5G enables the evolution of existing business models from providing network connectivity to becoming a platform provider, delivering a range of digital services with the agility to play different roles in the value chain. Service exposure and customer empowerment are the focus points for being a successful platform provider. And to achieve this, as Singtel embrace, there is a need to develop flexible, intelligent, and holistic capabilities across the network and IT stacks to deliver truly seamless customer experience. Let me give you an example. Ericsson ordering an orchestration management solution makes this possible by transforming the traditional siloed service ordering and fulfillment process into a dynamic end-to-end service enablement by validating the service availability, automatically determining the workflows from the defined service structure, and by guaranteeing the accurate order delivery. Another example is the monetization of the 5G data traffic in real time. Integrated policy and charging provides the right service quality to the right user, which can be deferred across the user services and can be differentiated with different charging characteristics. To enable the holistic ordering and orchestration, all network functions need to be connected in constant real-time communication to ensure seamless customer experience from the minute the service is sold, when it is delivered and it is built. And Chen Chun, what's your approach here to the, the need for the, the 5G demands platform have this, has this tight interworking between OSS, BSS and the network? We know that in the new world, user expects service creation and flexibility in real time. Hence, integrating service orchestration with the northbound IT and BSS system must also be seamless and in real time. In many telcos, there are typically two technology arms. One is the IT and, and the other one is the networks engineering. So there must be strong collaboration between these two units to make things work end to end. Within Singtel, we collaborate to build network IT platforms. I have an IT capability within networks and we adopt open standards like TMF, open APIs and ODA across IT and networks engineering for better alignment and tighter interworking. Thanks, Chen Chun. Uh, and can I also ask you, how are you approaching network slicing, especially with regards to monetization and ordering and activation? 
the value of network slicing must be built on real corporates and consumer use cases. There must also be value creation to back up their willingness to pay. Hence, pioneering trials and ideation with various corporates partners in digitalizing their industries and processes are important for them to recognize these values. And Seda, how are you approaching network slicing? Network slicing provides to create and deliver all kinds of new services beyond the connectivity by fully capturing the value of the network in a more efficient way. Configurable network slices could potentially have customer-specific characteristics and enable more granular charging mechanisms. Let's think about how this is going to be realized in a real-life scenario. Let's take the growing gaming industry segment for super low latency and superior gaming experience. A dedicated network slice needs to have new set of customer journeys for the gaming company and the consumers. To manage this, we are working towards a vertical stack from ordering through the order management and orchestration to monetization. Slice creation done through the characteristics defined in the catalog to manage gaming services. Automated order fulfillment enabled using open APIs verified against the service visibility and availability. And dynamic service uh, slice orchestration enables to guarantee the network coverage, low latency and high bandwidth which is demanded by the gamers. Pricing could be applied to the whole slice or to the individual services running for specific characteristics. Such use cases enabled with partners in a multi-sided business models demand agility and automation to improve time to market and improved customer experience. So the BSS platform should evolve to deliver the customer experience around the ordering and activation of network slices through digital channels. They need to have the ability to handle B2B2X partnership models with catalog-driven architecture and flexible order management and modernization of billing is required to support the advanced partnership models with real-time capabilities. Network slicing overall exemplifies the importance of the modernization of VSS platforms in parallel to the 5G network evolution. And Seda, you just mentioned partnerships there. Partnerships we always hear are so important today. How are you approaching partner collaboration at Singtel and ensuring that innovation can thrive? Innovation is all about continuous ideation and exploration. I mean, Chan Chun has expressed in the introduction about the 5G Garage Initiative, which we are continuously learning side by side with Singtel, but also with other leading service providers, exploring to support the creation, launching and management of new 5G services. Co-creation with partners in the ecosystem demand more openness and standardization in BSS. Therefore, in our BSS portfolio, we are aligned with TMF Open Digital Architecture and our network and BSS platform supports exposure of the capabilities through open APIs to enable the agile service creation. All in all, many opportunities are yet to be imagined. So to claim the possibilities, it is the flexibility and agility which is more important that will enable Singtel and other CSPs to move around the value chain for differ different industry use cases and support multi-sided business model with differentiated go-to-market strategies. And it's a cycle. I mean, the CSP has to explore the market, capture the opportunity, and adjust their strategy whenever needed. It is key to have a BSS as flexible as possible with agile and scalable platform with optimized TCO to monetize the new use cases with the support of cloud native architecture principles and CICD based implementation and lifecycle management. And Chen Chun, how are you approaching partner collaboration at Singtel? Yeah, I see building the 5G ecosystem, including the innovation lab, the 5G garage, and the digital network team and our software capabilities are important. It enables us to lead or co-lead in our partnerships and collaborations. I would say in general terms, we partner everyone who can add value to our ideation and value creation process. They can be the IT arm of the various corporates, the leading telcos, the GSMA, and of course, we have our 5G technology vendor. So in Singapore, we partner Ericsson as an example, and not forgetting the cloud providers and all relevant ASPs 
but they are important partners too. And finally, Cheng Chu, what does all this mean for BSS Evolution? What's next for Singtel? The BSS has to evolve. The order to activation has to be real time. The network features has to be consumed as a service, which means all of this must be provided via real time APIs. I think we have identified the pieces or the various ingredients of success. What we need to do next is to pull all of them together. And it's not just about the 5G connectivity, the edge, the service orchestration that we have been talking about, but also the BSS as the critical component to form the full digital stack for success. Great. Well, with that, we must draw our discussion to a close. Thank you both very much indeed for participating and sharing your views today. And to watch the other episodes in this series, please just follow the links below this video. For now, though, thank you for watching and goodbye.